So you're planning on flying your drone while in Iceland. Well, there are many rules and regulations you should know before you take flight. Today we're going to talk about them. Hey guys, what's up? If this is your first time visiting this channel, my name is Chris and this is Wander Wilby, a channel where my brother Patrick and I give travel tips and tricks, we do product reviews, and we vlog our adventures along the way. So this time next week, I'm gonna be enjoying my first day in Iceland. I'm super excited, and in preparation for that, I knew I wanted to bring my drone to get some nice aerial shots. Uh, so I figured I'd look up the rules that are set forth in Iceland for flying your drone. So these are the laws for the use of drones in Iceland for leisure. The first rule is to mark your drone with your name, address, and phone number. And this is really a good rule to have anyways, just in case your drone loses connection and flies off somewhere else and doesn't exactly return to home. It's always a good idea to have your name, address, and phone number on your drone. So if you lose it, and somebody else finds it, if they're a nice person, they'll return that drone to you. So the next rule is that your drone may not exceed three kilograms in urban areas and 25 kilograms in suburban areas. I'm in luck because I fly the DJI Spark and this only weighs roughly 0.2 pounds. Another rule is that any drone that weighs 20 kilograms or more must be insured. This is probably a good idea because if it weighs that much and crashes into something and causes damage, the insurance will take care of whatever damage that your drone may cause. Next rule is sort of a given. Do not fly over large crowds of people. It's a safety risk and with all the craziness in the world, uh, you never know what's going on with the drone. So it's a good idea not to fly a drone over crowds of people. So do not fly more than 120 meters above ground or sea. And I think that's for obvious reasons. Um, there could be aircraft coming along, smaller aircraft, um, whether it be a helicopter or a smaller plane, uh, you don't want any disasters. So it's a good rule of thumb to stay below that. So keep the drone in sight at all times. We'll see about that one now. It's a good thing to keep your drone within eyesight, um, especially if you're a new drone pilot. Um, you get disoriented easily and sometimes the camera isn't good enough to navigate. You might lose sight of where you are. You should always have your drone in sight. A common sense rule that they have here is please follow the general rules on protection of property and privacy. So you don't want to be hovering over somebody's, you know, private residence uh, without permission. Don't be creeping down on them like some pervert, for God's sake. It is completely forbidden to fly within two kilometers of any international airport or 1.5 kilometer from any other airport in Iceland. Do not fly within 150 meters of any public buildings. I feel like I should be reading like the commandments. Thou shalt not fly within 150 meters of any public structure in Iceland. This one's a little wordy, so I'm gonna have to read it. Apologies. Do not fly closer to residential buildings or premises that are 50 meters within urban areas and 150 meters in rural areas without approval by the owner. So again, this is all about privacy and protection. If you don't have a property owner's permission to be flying around their house, uh, you shouldn't be there. Um, you know, it's invasion of privacy, basically. So here's another good one. Check all flying regulations and restrictions for a flying area before flying. Fly. Can we say fly anymore? Fly, fly, fly. So here's an example of this. I've read online that national parks in Iceland uh, are no fly zones for drones. So basically I can't fly my drone while I'm in Thingvalir, which I'm murdering the name of that. I'll put the pronunciation above. So here's an important one. The operator of the drone is responsible for any damages that your drone may cause. I'm basically poor. So I don't know how I'd pay off any damages anyway. It would get worked out. So the final and probably the most important rule on this list is that drone flights may not interfere with air traffic, ship traffic, or vehicle traffic, and that you should stay far away from other manned aircraft in the area. This is totally for safety. You don't want a disaster on your hands. My number one rule is I don't want to end up on the news, <laughs> especially for, for bad reasons, especially. So if you follow these list of rules set up side by the Icelandic Transport Authority, 
uh, you should be good to go for flying your drone in Iceland. All these rules that I've read today can be found on the Icelandic Transport Authority's website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I'm super excited for our trip to Iceland. I get in uh, early Monday morning and I stay till Friday afternoon. We're gonna be visiting national parks. Uh, hot springs, the Blue Lagoon. We're gonna be doing the Golden Circle and also visiting Reykjavik. I'm gonna be vlogging the adventures the whole time, uh, posting pictures on Instagram, I'll be on Twitter. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please hit that like button. So if you wanna see more videos like this and especially keep up with our vlogging from Iceland, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I put out a new video. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that next week you'll be viewing my adventures online in Iceland. And most importantly, until next time, guys, get out and explore.